Muy buenas tardes a todos los familiares, hermanos y hermanas de nuestra hermana. Good afternoon to all the relatives, brothers and sisters of our sister Gregoria Hernández Santoyo, who has departed with the Lord. She finished her days on this planet Earth in her earthly body. And she is in the sixth dimension enjoying all these blessings that God has for all the believers in Him and waiting there for the voice, the same voice that called Lazarus from the grave is the same voice to call all those who are there in that place called the sixth dimension, waiting for that call. And they hear and receive that call and are resurrected. Which the Lord himself tells us in the Gospel according to John, chapter 5, verse 24, where he tells us, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of Man, and they that hear shall live. Notice, and they that hear, that is, they are those who are there in the sixth dimension, not those who are in the fifth dimension. Because notice, there is a waiting place for those who are waiting to hear that voice. Not in the fifth dimension, whom are there waiting for the divine judgment. In other words, the judgment that they will have to go through after the millennium where they will be again in their bodies in which they were when they were here on this earth, living in their bodies. There, they will be again in that second resurrection to be judged and condemned. Which, notice, they also come out in that second resurrection by the call of the voice of the Son of God, but not to eternal life. Now, there is a group which are the foolish ones whom will rise after the millennium because the 144,000 resurrect after the Great Tribulation. But the foolish ones, the group of the foolish ones, the sleeping virgins, will resurrect after the millennium. And they will indeed be listening to the voice, the voice of the Son of God, to obtain eternal life if they come out well in the judgment. Because several people, or many people, then we will know the number of those who will be blotted out who belong to that group of the foolish ones. But those who are not blotted out of the book of life, they will obtain eternal life. But notice that a resurrection also takes place there, which is the second one, by the call of the voice of the Son of God. Same thing happened at the time of Jesus. He went through paradise. Notice, he picked them up and brought them back. But notice, it was a call which that is opening up in this end time, that mystery of how is that he speaks the word which was with Lazarus, and Lazarus came out. In other words, the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and will rise. They will resurrect. In other words, 
There is an order for the resurrection, as it was the order of the resurrection at the first coming of the Lord. And that voice, the same voice that called Lazarus the voice of the archangel, the acclamation, notice, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. On verse, let us look at here, verse 13. He tells us, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, Even so them that slept in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from the heaven with a shout. There is that acclamation, that shout, that acclamation, that was in the seventh angel messenger, forerunner of the second coming of the Lord the Reverend William Marion Branham, with the voice of the Archangel and with the trump of God. Now, notice that the voice of Archangel is that voice of the Holy Spirit because the seventh seal is in a threefold manner and this one is one of the angles of the mystery of the seventh seal because the other angle is the other face of the pyramid. Notice, it is the ministry of Jesus, the ministry of Moses, and the ministry of Elijah. Therefore, all that at the end, when the trumpet of God comes, which is that seventh trumpet, he says, the sixth had just sounded, and that last trumpet as the last seal, says Brother Branham, is the coming of the Lord because the seventh seal for the church is the second coming of the Lord. And the seventh trumpet as the last seal, notice the last seal is the seventh seal. For Israel is the seventh trumpet, which are Moses and Elijah. What the seventh seal is for the church is the seventh trumpet for Israel. And in this end time, acclamation, voice of archangel and trumpet of God, will be fully manifested in that ministry. Notice, there is the other angle yet to be seen in the mystery of the coming of the Son of Man with his angels. Now, Paul goes on to say here, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive. Now notice, He descends from heaven because there is a resurrection there, which is the resurrection of the two olive trees. And after the resurrection of the two olive trees, as it happened with the resurrection of Jesus, for it says, and come out of the graves after his resurrection, because everything is parallel. Now notice, when he descends from heaven in that resurrection of the two olive trees, notice, there is what he says, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. In other words, that work that is carried out there is very but very important because it is after that divine judgment is carried out in the sixth dimension. The judgment for which Brother Ranham was told that he will come to you and judge you. That is, all of that is represented in that time when Jesus went to the sixth dimension, passed through paradise, when that was paradise. There was not the sixth dimension. He went through paradise and brought them. That ministry goes through the sixth dimension and brings him back. So, Notice how all that is being repeated again. 
mystery which is being opened at the same time for all the sons and daughters of God. He goes on to say, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. May these words be of comfort to all the family of our sister Gregoria Hernandez Santoyo, who had children. Many of them are pastors and daughters as well. So, a great sister, servant of God. And we will see her again very soon in her eternal and glorified body, a young lady. So, it is up to us to be prepared to be ready so that when the resurrection occurs, we can see it and be transformed. May God bless you and keep you. And may you continue having a day of peace, of love. And may the peace of the Lord reign in your hearts. God bless you and keep you all.